This group, some of them survivors of the Kasinga massacre, reflected on what occurred on that fateful day, not forgetting the dashed hopes of a better life they look forward to post-independence. Elizabeth Shihama broke into tears as she narrated the hardship she faces on a daily basis. We went through hardship that fateful day in Kasinga. I keep saying Swapo will remain my dad and mom. But when I look at the state of my life, my children have no jobs up until today. I struggle to provide for them. Really, it's painful. <laughs> Veronica Simata, who sustained injuries during the war, said their hearts are still filled with dark memories about their friends who died and paid the ultimate sacrifice for the freedom of Namibia. On a day such as this, truly, we never feel at peace. Our hearts are dark because our comrades died, some of whom we knew personally, like Veronica, Konja, and Mekulum Kwanyoka Waluela. They all did not survive. Charles Indongo, an ex-plant combatant, also narrated how eight of his fellow villagemen were killed by the apartheid South African military forces. Indongo feels modern-day Namibia still leaves a lot to be desired, particularly the living standard of some of the war veterans. On this day, at present, like now, it always feels as if that fateful day has not ended yet because we went to fight for our country. We then got our freedom, and now we are here, and it just feels like we are worse off. The group, which claims to have a membership of about 12,000 sympathizers, threatened not to vote in the 2024 elections should their demands, including pension payouts, are not heeded. We cannot just keep voting and voting, yet we are unhappy as ex-combatants. We will return with our voter cards. We will remain SWAPO members even if our leaders lose power or not. We will remain. But please, our party must engage its government to come up with modalities to help us. Viva Swapo! Viva! Kaipa Herakanji, NBC News, Vinduka.